In 1982, Charlotte-based North Carolina National Bank, headed by visionary leader Hugh McCall, found a way to at last cross state lines in banking. This bold, game-changing move led NCNB to become Nations Bank, which quickly evolved into Bank of America. Prompted by their leadership, coast-to-coast -coast banking shaped the financial landscape for us all. At the IBM Center at University Research Park in Charlotte, engineers found a way to make ATMs more than cash dispensing machines. In 1978, they linked these machines by computer, creating the potential for the automated banking network we take for granted today. The year was 1949, with the curious gathered at a dirt track in West Charlotte. And what they witnessed was the first strictly stock car race with cars and drivers the common man and woman could relate to. This simple, ingenious twist on auto racing was the start of a powerful economic engine. Imagine heavy, dangerous 55-gallon metal drums used to mark construction zones on streets and highways. But all that changed in 1985 when Tom Corey of Radiator Specialty in Charlotte conceived of orange plastic traffic barrels. Today, lightweight and visible, they serve road crews from coast to coast. If necessity is the mother of invention, wives and daughters were always its handmaidens. When Philip Lance took a shipment of peanuts in exchange for a bad debt in 1913, his family suggested spreading peanut butter on crackers, creating one of America's first packaged food snacks. In Rock Hill in 1961, African-American students from Friendship College had the insight that sitting at a lunch counter, getting arrested, and serving jail time was the best strategy for winning their civil rights. Their Jail No Bail campaign not only made national headlines, but was memorialized in the Reverend Martin Luther King's letter from the Birmingham Jail. While Jack Pentis watched kids playing in a Charlotte park, he recalled his bumps and bruises from unforgiving playground equipment. As a result, he conceived of Soft Play Playgrounds, a part of kids' lives since his brainstorm in 1982. With its traditional brick facade, you might never know that Charlotte Pipe and Foundry helped make one of the 1960s foremost industrial innovations as a main developer of PVC piping. Today, the company is the nation's largest maker of PVC for drains, waste, and vents. Controlling both temperature and humidity is essential in processing cotton. As it happens, air conditioning also keeps people comfortable. In 1905, Willis Carrier, now a household name, installed the first AC system at Belmont's Chronicle Cotton Mill. The first patent for air conditioning, however, was filed by his rival, Stuart Kramer, the region's foremost textile mill designer and creator of Kramerton. As the story goes, James Brown was on tour in 1965 when he had a new sound buzzing in his head. So he pulled into country star Arthur Smith's Charlotte studio to record the now legendary Papa's Got a Brand New Bag, one of Rolling Stone magazine's top 100 records of all time. <laughs> 